Crossover Thursday is presented by Prize Picks. Download the app and use code Locked On NFL to win fifty dollars instantly when you play five dollars. I'm Joe Marino, host of Locked On Bills, joined by Eric Crocker, host of Locked On 49ers, here to get you ready for Sunday Night Football in Week 13, Bills Niners, and it's time to talk about the keys to victory. If the 49ers are going to go across the country, Sunday Night Football, win in Highmark Stadium, get the the upset, right, six and a half point road dogs. Yeah, be a big win, six and six. You feel like you're kind of in the in a position to do the thing we talked about earlier and go on a run. What's got to happen? What what are the keys for the Niners? You know, I think the 49ers have to figure out a way to make the Buffalo Bills uncomfortable. As if the the weather can't make them uncomfortable as well, right? 49ers have to add to that. Can you put certain pressure on Josh Allen and force him to throw some of those boneheaded throws that we haven't seen him really throw this year, but we've seen him throw in the past? Uh, you know, get him to turn the ball over a couple of times. Then the 49ers have to turn around, take advantage of that, and be able to run the ball. They have not ran the ball well since Christian McCaffrey has come back. And in turn, that's putting the 49ers in some tough situations, some longer situations, and they just don't play well in, you know, second and 10, third and 10. Uh, most teams obviously get a little worse in those situations. I think the 49ers are probably one of the worst because they don't have these great passing concepts. Teams understand how to attack the 49ers. Teams know that if you get the 49ers in that position, they don't change a lot of the stuff they do up front. So if you send some blitzes, they're going to throw to their hot. Teams are forcing them to throw to the hot guy right now, and teams are also rallying down and making tackles. So the 49ers, they got to get ahead of the sticks early in downs, and that's going to start with – really being able to run the ball. Again, something they have not done very well since Christian McCaffrey has come back. Crockett, it looks like we got a lot of similar thoughts here because my keys kind of align with what you're thinking for the 49ers side of things. Uh, Number one is I have written down, have the right plan to defend the run. And I know that you mentioned that the 49ers run game may be not as dynamic as it's been, but the the Bills run defense can be a little leaky. They play a ton of light boxes, man. They'll give you six-man boxes, all game long. They live in nickel, right? Taron Johnson, big time slot corner. And he basically plays strong side linebacker for this team. And that's going to invite some runs. And the Bills want that. They want you to try to run the ball on them and tighten the screws in the red zone. Like that's how they play defense. But you got to have the right plan because obviously, especially, you know, Proc Purdy's going to play and, and, and maybe that comes with some limitations with the shoulder. If he doesn't play and it's Allen again, they're going to run the ball, right? And so, this Shanahan run scheme, the Bills play it all the time. They get the Dolphins a couple of times a year, right? Uh, they had LaFleur with the Jets for a little bit. They've seen this run scheme, and it gives them some troubles, man. They The trap blocks, the whams, the misdirections, the, the horizontal stretch, it can give the Bills some problems. They can get creased a little bit. And so the Bills are going to have to have the right plan to defend the run. And maybe this is a week where you try to you know, roll that safety down and give your box a little bit more support if you're not as concerned with their ability to throw the football against you. Number two on defense, you got to hunt the ball. Uh, the Niners are turning the ball over 12% of their drives. That's bottom t- 10 in the NFL. And the Bills are very good at taking away the football. They get a turnover or a takeaway 18% of the drives. They've had a takeaway in every single game this year. I think the streak's at like 14 or 15 games dating back to last year. They're a big play defense. And I know that the names are different in the secondary, but they still have that same mindset of, of going and taking away the football. And uh, I think that'll be a big opportunity for them, not only to – you know, obviously break on some balls where they have some really talented guys in terms of ball skills with uh, Rasul Douglas, with Christian Benford, with Taron Johnson, with Terrell Bernard at linebacker, but they're good at forcing fumbles as well. And so I think they got to be hunting the football in this game and see if you can kind of use something that's been a strength for you and a weakness for them against the Niners in this game. And then on offense, I think this is about leaning into an efficient style of offense, which is how the Bills want to play. Um, the Niners are a pretty good team metrically at defending vertical passes. They're not a very blitz aggressive team defensively. And so just take the profits, sit there and and take the profits, rely on your yards after catch, run the football efficiently and stay ahead of the sticks. That way you don't put them in a position where they can, you know, tee off, take advantage of some long and late downs and and maybe, you know, break on a pass and, and get a game changing takeaway. So for me, it's have the right plan to defend the run, hunt the football and be efficient on offense. You know, I think a lot of times we we focus a lot on the offense, on the defense, and those phases of the game. But there's a third phase that's very important in special teams, and that's where the 49ers have not been very good. 31st been, in DVOA, oh, Croc. What I was going to ask you about, what is going on with the Niners special teams, man? Oh, uh, man, I mean, they've been bad. I, so there's three phases of football, right? You got, yeah. you know, offense, defense, special teams. And then within the special teams, you have a bunch of different phases, uh, you know, there as well. 
And I feel like at different times, the 49ers have just been bad at all of them. Uh, you know, you have a really good punter with Mitch Wisnowski, who he's been out a couple of weeks now. We'll see if he's coming back. But even if he's not back, you know, the punt unit, it's just been the coverage. Not great. The 49ers have given up big returns in key moments. Sometimes it's bitten them in the butt. Sometimes it hasn't. Uh, the, the Rams beat the 49ers early in the year. A big part of that was 49ers punted it late in the game. The Rams returned it into their own territory, set up a short field for them to be able to and take the lead and beat the 49ers. Um, and the Seattle Seahawks, 49ers, they're kind of trying to run away with this game. They kick it off, and boom, there's a big return for a touchdown against the Niners. I mean, just at different times, the, the coverage unit has been bad. The, uh, the 49ers have muffed a couple fumbles where you have a rookie back there, and maybe it's him, but it's not even his fault because his uh, protector is getting pushed into his lap where now he's getting distracted and the guy's hitting him and he's trying to catch the ball. I mean, any way that you can mess up special teams, the 49ers have done it, which leads you to the point or question, why is this special teams coordinator not fired yet with the 49ers being so bad right now? But in this type of weather where anything can kind of happen, you know, you punt the ball, you can have a fumble, it can hit somebody, the ball's going to bounce a little funny in the snow or on the wet grounds. The 49ers have to be much better on special teams if they want to have a chance to beat the Buffalo Bills this Sunday. Yeah, the weather can be a neutralizer. I mean, obviously the Bills might be a little bit more accustomed to being in those elements, but the ball's still slippery for the Bills, right? And so you could look at the weather as perhaps a, a bit of a neutralizer in this game if you start to see that type of stuff happen. And who knows, man? <laughs> weather in Western New York at this time of year changes. There's certainly snow in the forecast. Will it be snowing during the game? What does it look like to get there? What does it look like during uh Hold your breath. We don't, we don't know what's going to happen, but it will be interesting nonetheless.